This situation calls for breaks. Well, obviously. It's time for your car's brake inspection. It's worth everything to have safe, dependable brakes for tight squeezes that can pop up any time. In addition to safety, good brakes save tire wear, make steering at stops effortless. A bad pull to one side can cause a skid, a dented fender, even an injury. Take no chances. Come in now and know you will have your car under control at all times. Brake inspection is now due. Here, the good people at Kramer Ebert's Pontiac are looking out for your safety. Together with Pennzoil, they teamed up to send you this postcard in the mail to get you to bring your car in and have those brakes looked at. So do it, then. They give you lots of reasons, one of which is not very clear to me. When they say they can make steering at stops effortless, are they talking about steering your car while it's stopped? How would good brakes do that? And I was always told that steering while at a dead stop was hard on your tires and all that front end stuff like your tie rod ends and your ball joints. Best to be rolling a little when steering, that's what I was told. But I guess what they must mean is not steering at stops, but steering while stopping. And I get that. Crummy brakes will pull you to one side or the other, and of course that's not good. Younger drivers today may not have ever experienced this, since modern cars make a lot of such issues a thing of the past. Every now and then you hear someone talk about the good old days and how great cars used to be. Well, they had more interesting styling, that is for sure. But as somebody who has owned many old heaps in my day, I can tell you that they had lots of problems we don't even think about these days. On the other hand, cars today all have computers. And so diagnosis and repair that used to be a matter of perseverance and logic is now a mysterious enterprise. The computer will, at the least convenient times, casually light up your dashboard with random cryptic warnings like check engine or service now. It does this when everything seems to be working fine, but of course you have to look into it. And in the meantime, worry about it. Looking into it means reading your car's computer codes, which are even more cryptic than the dashboard lights, if that's possible. And in the end, in my experience at least, I usually find that what caused the computer to set off the warning light was not an actual problem with some function of the car, but instead a faulty sensor. Like the boy who cried wolf, the problem seems to be not a wolf, but the boy. So, thanks to computer technology, even when there's nothing actually wrong with the car itself, it's going to cost you.